So what if I told you that we know a woman who can help you with all that and even has five top ways that you can line your financial pockets? Yeah. Well, we have. That is you switch money expert, Tash Jackson. It's really lovely to see you. And you too. And Tash, this has come from a place where you did get yourself into debt, didn't you? Yeah, look, like most people, you sort of start work, you start earning more than you ever have before and spending more than you ever have before. People are offering you store cards and, and ways that you can spend and I just had to take stock because and I wanted to buy a house. How, how bad did it get? Because debt is an awful thing. Debt is a big worry. Whether you know, for some people, you might think, "Oh, that's a small debt," but for that person, being in debt is awful. It gives you sleepless nights. People sometimes hide away from it; they can't face it. Yeah, I was probably the latter. Hid away, didn't talk about it. And actually, when you start to get older, your friends are buying houses and doing exciting things that you just can't do because you don't have it. Well, look, all that's in the past. The future. Uh, could just be lining your pockets with some money. Simple ways, five ways. Here we go. First of all, with energy switching. Yes, yeah, so this one is one of the easiest ways. Our record at U-Switch is three minutes and 20 seconds for someone to switch their energy supplier. So people can do this while we're talking. What all you need is your home address, size of your property, your usage if you know it, pop onto a price comparison website. If you've been with your provider for more than 18 months, chances are you're on their standard rate, and that is the most expensive. So you need so to get off of do that. do you get a number of bills together and you're saying, in the past year, I've paid this, what can you do for me? Really, you only need one, because on the back of it, it's got all the information that you so need. So it's the rate, the rate exactly. per wattage or unit or whatever, they will reduce or Yeah, give but actually, it's, the information you think you need is far more complex than actually what you do need on the website. Mm. It's, it's just some little okay. facts that you'll and know. And what about the provider? you're with you're saying if you've been with them you're probably with their standard rate mm -hmm. but could you say to them look I'd like to stay with you but I want a better deal yeah but I would always recommend going onto a price comparison website and just make sure that you are getting the best deal okay. there's up to 300 pounds to save that's enough to line anyone's okay. pocket so that's okay. first of all that's 300 quid savings straight away <laughs> uh, switch your current account right Tell right now this one is over half of people haven't switched their current account in the last 10 years and over a third haven't switched within the last 20. Switch completely to another bank to or another change bank. your account? Another exactly, bank. yeah. And actually, the banks at the moment are chucking money at people just for their custom. All they want is you to switch your current account to them. First Direct, for example, giving you up to £100. M&S will give you up to £220 worth of vouchers. Mm. 100 in the first year, 120 once you've mm -hmm. been with them. And do you have to have year. a certain amount to transfer? Will they take on overdrafts Not for your current well? account, yeah. No, they will take on some of your overdraft, but, you know, you won't find that out till after you've switched. Mm. But just for moving your current account and switching your direct debits over, which is really simple and easy to do. M&S also offers 6% interest on any cash. Nationwide customers, if you refer a friend, you'll get £100, and your friend also gets £100. That one's really, really good. And really popular. This is exactly. mounting up. OK, point three, high interest current account. Well, you get nothing for savings accounts. Well, this is the problem. A lot of people have got savings in accounts that have finish their introductory period so that rate that hooked them in in the beginning and got them really excited is over and so now they're looking for ways to earn some more money so TSB have got a high interest current account which is paying up to five percent so on two thousand pounds that's a hundred pounds that you can make over the year all the only trick that you need to remember with this one is you need to pay £500 in at least once a month, but you can put that £500 in and switch it out the next day. That's fine. Switch it out as in what, on a standing order standing for something? Standing order, exactly. So as long as it's gone in, yep. you'll get that rate. Correct. And switch it back out again if you okay. want. Okay. Cash back. Now, I'm not, not sure. I, I don't want to about cash Is this back. when you spend, when you buy something in certain yeah. stores? Yeah, this and then one, I'll be honest, back. is one of my favourites because this is basically rewarding you for spending your own money, which I like the sound of because I'm doing <laughs> a lot of that. So basically, with this one, you're earning cash back on some of your bills. So the Santander 123 account, if you've got your mortgage, your council tax and water, your energy, your phone, TV, any of those bills, you can earn cash back just for having those direct debits set up from your account. Now, the catch with that one is the account does cost £5, but actually, if you think about the amount of bills that you're paying... £5, five pounds, what, pounds, a month? Or five, five pounds a month, yeah. 60 quid a year. Exactly. Then that West one, which is really similar, so you can earn up to 3% cash back on those, that's uh, £3. That one's a little bit cheaper. 
but it's worth doing because you say well, what you're getting back, you've covered If you that think about how much your bills are costing you, exactly. And there's no ceiling, there's no limit on what they'll give you in terms of cash back? So some of them do have caps, so that's another one that you do need to keep your eye out for. Um, it just depends on the way that you're sending and the amount of direct debit right, you have. Right, 45 okay. seconds left, <laughs> cash back credit cards. This, I am, fam no, I'm not familiar, I'm familiar with getting air miles and things like that. Is that sort of similar? Well, this one is for people that, you know, just want to earn money again while they're spending. So the cashback credit cards, there is the Amex one, which is really good, American Express. You can earn um, cashback on your spending in department stores, supermarkets, petrol, things that people are doing all the time. Again, the one to watch out for that one is make sure you're paying off your credit card in full mm. every month, otherwise you're going to get caught out and then you don't win, yeah. then the banks win. But as long as you're paying it off, there are exactly. amazing. incentives. Amazing. You've got about a thousand quid back there to just yeah. talking with that. Superb. Thank you very much Thank indeed, Tash. Really appreciate that.